Welcome to my conservatory. This is a television I watch every night and I've got a really annoying problem with it. Look at the wires here. The way the wires hang down. So I thought, what a great idea for a video. Let's massively over-engineer something to tidy these wires up at the back. So let me just flip it around and I'll show you exactly what the problem is. Oh, that looks like a good YouTube channel. I wonder who that is. So I'm Charlie, welcome back to my channel. Today's a project video, as I've said in the intro. And I'm going to massively over-engineer something to hold that in there and that about there. To stop that happening for a start. So, what I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to take all these sticky pads off. I'm going to scan the back of that so I know where these screw holes are in relation to the rest of it. Scan the power bank, scan the sky puck, uh, put them into Fusion 360 and see if I can design something to be a bit more of a permanent fix. First of all, then I'm going to scan the back of the TV and I need to put some marker dots on it. So let me set up for that and then we'll see how we get on. Obviously, I haven't gone into the detail on those. But all I'm interested in, really, is those four points there. Process this then into a mesh. Okay, so that's the back of the tele stand. Let's go back up to the office now for the uh, for the other two items. Okay, so this is a simple setup for the power block. I'm just going to race around doing a global marker, and then I'll do a cross-line scan. I'm going to go into great detail because it's just a bit of a space climbing exercise. This is so we can uh, we can put it into CAD and design something to clamp onto it. That's the power strip done, onto the sky puck. Okay, so that's all my scanning done now then. I've got the back of the TV, I've got the power strip and I've got the sky plug. I'll export all those as STL files down there and then I'll bring them into Fusion 360 to do some CAD design. I'll see you there. Okay, welcome to Fusion 360 where I'm designing the TV mount. Now, first of all, disclaimer, I'm not a CAD professional. I'm not a design expert. I'm just a keen hobbyist who's picked up a few things along the way. So, uh, so bear with me. If there are any uh, professionals out there who happen to be watching this video, you know where the comment section is. All I can say to you is be kind, please. Okay, so as you can see, I've already completed this project, but I want to just show you the way I did it. First of all, you've got to bring in the uh, the scans, line them together, and then build something around them. So first of all, I brought in the TV. And as you can see, there's the TV rear, and I've aligned it. So it's sitting on the top plane, and it's square to the square to the front. And the way I did that was I created the plane on the back using the plane with three points, aligned it to the top surface. I drew 
sketch around the holes at the back. Put some construction lines between them. Level that up against the one axis. And then align the center of the, the holes to the origin of the workspace. And as you can see, that's aligned it up perfectly. Next, I brought in the power strip. And the way I did that was I created a plane on the rear, a plane on each end, and then a mid plane. And then I created an axis between two planes where the, basically the mid plane intersected with the back plane, which gave me the center point. Then I dropped it onto a plane which I'd uh, offset 10 millimeters off the back of the TV, align the back plane to that one, put the axes with the center point, and then eyeballed it up and down using move copy to where I thought it needed to be. And I bought in the sky puck. I did a similar thing with that. I created a plane with three points on the rear. I created a plane with three points on that end. The same that end. I created a mid plane between those two. And then an axis between two planes, which gave me the center point of the, uh, the, the sky puck. So I could drop that then onto the back of the TV. And I did a similar thing with that. I dropped it onto the 10 mil offset plane, aligned it with the origin, and then eyeballed it up and down to a place I needed it to be. So if I now turn off all the construction with those, you can see how these basically sit now on the back of the television. 10 millimeters off there, level with each other. And if I go to the top view, a dead square. So there's a good start. After everything was aligned, I created a new component and I called it mount. I first of all sketched around the sky puck and then extruded it up 15 millimeters. I think in there was basically 10 millimeters for the, off the base of the telly, which met the underneath of the two scans here, and then five millimeters more to create a pocket for those two things to sit into. I selected the rest of the area and extruded that up 10 mil to form a plate. So therefore I've got a plate now and a pocket. I then drew a sketch on that face there and extruded it. So we've got now fouling for the wires. Then I drew a sketch on this face here and again extruded it. So those wires wouldn't fell on there. And I drew a sketch on this back face here. I extruded it out 10 mil and minus 25 mil, which then made a, a like a fixed clamp over the top of the power strip that side. Then I then took my attention to this side where I created another sketch on the end face following the contour there. Then I extended it on two sides again to form another clamping system. But this one I managed as a new body, so it would be a new part. And that's it is on the clamp to hold the sky puck. So I'll put a sketch onto this back face here. And again, extended that out two sides to bring the clamp over to there. At this point, I decided this was a little bit too big for my printer. So I decided to just chop a little bit off each end. And I did that by moving the face. On the bottom. And then on the top. Just made it a little bit, uh, a bit, a little bit smaller. Then I added a load of chamfers. As you can see, round here to make that a little bit more pleasing and to take around the stress rises of a sharp corner. Did the same on that one there. Then I pushed some holes through here. 
picked out of a four mil holes at the top. If I take away the uh, sky pull clamp here, you can see the holes go into the bottom as well. That was the new body. So I take that away there, and uh, I'm going to have some pressed inserts in there. Those are the size of a pressed insert for, for an M4 thread. And those are clearance holes for an M4 screw. So that will be held on there by a screw into pressed inserts. And then I did the same on this side in those two. And if I take away the power strip clamp, again, you can see oh, I've got two holes in the base. The clamp fits nicely on the top. And then I basically just covered it all in uh, chamfers make it a little bit more uh, appealing. I'll put a chamfer all the way around the edge there. So bringing it all back together then and viewing it like that. As you can say, as you can say, that that wasn't quite square, but I just eyeballed that there to make that um, touch. And then on the other edge, I did the same eyeballing that so it did touch. And this clamp as well. As you can see, it's going to touch along the sky puck. Should miss the wires there. That should be free of the wires. So that'll clamp onto the back of the television. And that should be a nice tidy job. The next job then. Let's get it printed out. The printer's finished and he's done a great job. There's the base. I printed this on my A1 and the edges there aren't very good to be fair, but I think that's because when it's cooling, it starts to lift up slightly, but it'll be okay for this job. And the brackets, that fits all right there and the one for the sky puck as you can see perfect and then the power strip that'll go on top of there like that and that'll be there like that perfect so let's get these pressed inserts in there that's what they are look just a little four bell screw and a little brass pressed insert. And I shall put that in with my soldering iron. So the pressed inserts are gone in then. Let's just assemble it now. The sky puck. Snug down. Nice. And now to put the power strip into place. It's perfectly like that. Put the clamp on top. As you can now see, it's finished. And it fits exactly as it's designed. Just touching there. And just touching there. I don't know if they can pick that up on the camera, but it's just touching there. There it is in all its glory, features at the back of the television. As you can see, I think it fits a treat. Just snug down these four bolts here into the visa mount. The wires reach, sky puck, just tidy that up with a few uh, a few cable ties, and I think we're uh, I think we're good to go. So there we have it. I think I can call that done. I've really enjoyed doing that and I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, can I please ask you to like it and subscribe because there will be more to come. So, until the next time, thanks for watching.